it's Tammy. Uh, in today's video I'm going to do five uh, pros to having an industrial piercing or scaffolding piercing depending on which ones you prefer to say. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's basically when you have two piercings that's basically connected with a bar. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go in the videos of pros and cons. Um, I'm doing pros in this video. And in the next video, I'll do cons. Um, I'll probably upload them around the same time, depending. So, yeah, I'm just going to go over five things. Just so therefore, when you watch it, you could do your research before you want to get this piercing done. Because, you know, you might like the look of it, but then it might be uncomfortable or any reasons like that, basically. Uh, so, yeah, so in this video, I'm going to do five pros to why I think you should get an industrial piercing if you think that would be your thing so so number one is that there is plenty of jewellery to go with this piercing there's loads of different types of bars you can get you can get ones that have like things on that bar or you have different balls that go in the end you can get different colours, different shapes, you can get ones that are like twisty and wavy and there's just loads of different jewellery, you've got a large selection to choose from. Uh, I tend to just go for the standard, just because I just feel it goes with everything <laughs> and I'm too lazy to change it. Um, so yeah, so there's loads to, to choose from, so if you really like switching out your jewellery, change it depending on what kind of outfit you're wearing. Or what style your hair is and stuff and you just want something to go with it you have the option to choose a lot of different jewelry for it uh, number two uh, you can have this vertically or horizontally am i saying that right basically you can have it going this way or that way <laughs> um you know it's not um very common you see many that have it downwards but that can be done if you've got the right ear and right piercer to do it um of course mine is going uh that way <laughs> you know the way you normally see it um so yeah you can have it like that you can have multiple you can have maybe one going that way and then the other one going that way if you've got enough space in the ear to do so it, again it does depend on the ear the piercer you go to if it can do it or not you know, basically just things like that. But yes, you can have it, you know, any kind of angle you want it as long as it fits right and doesn't irritate your ear and stuff. So that's quite interesting to know is that you can have it different ways. So something interesting you can choose to do when you get if you get one done. Uh, number three, uh, this piercing can be for anyone, man or woman. As I think a lot of piercings should be for anyone if they want it. But there are those typical ones where it's like, oh, these are for girls only or these are for boys only. Um, this is basically, anyone can have it. It will suit pretty much anyone. So if you're man, woman, uh, non-binary or, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to go too much into that because I don't know a lot to do with that. Uh, but yes, anyone can have it. If you want it, go for it. You know, if you think you like it. So, yeah, that's just something just something nice to know is that anyone can have it. And I personally think it can suit anyone. It doesn't matter the style that they look or the way they look or the way they have their hairstyle. I think it just suits anybody, to be honest. So, uh, number four. Uh, I... This is something for me personally. I don't feel like I see this piercing a lot on people. Uh, I find a lot of people tend to have just like a standard helix piercing like I do on this side. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know if it's just maybe the area I live in. I just feel it's not a very common thing to see. Uh, which is a bit disappointing because I do think it's a really cool looking piercing as to why I've got it myself. Um... But yeah, that's just something you don't see. So I feel like if you did want something a bit unique, um, I do think this is probably a good one to have. As, you know, I, you well, who knows? Maybe you probably see a load of people around your area that have them. Uh, I personally just don't see it very often. 
so I do feel a bit more unique because it's like, oh, I've got this piercing and everyone I know doesn't, so. <laughs> but that's just a personal one for me. I don't know if it would be for you. Uh, so that, you know, that could be a pro, that could be a con. I don't know, but I'm just putting it in this video anyway just because, you know, I think it's a pro to kind of have something a little bit unique if you, that is the case. So... And finally, number five, this piercing, as it is two in one, you can either have it as one piercing or you can have it as two. You know, you can get two separate bars, you know, put them in or just one bar. So I do think that, it's, that is quite good. You know, you can choose if you want it to have as one piercing or as two. And again, there's loads of different jewellery. So, you know, if it's like, oh, you know, I don't feel like having this long bar in for one day. You can choose to something to two little small barbells and put them in like that, or some hoops maybe. Uh, again, I think it does depend on the angle that you have it as well. It depends on what piercing would look good. But I do think that's a nice pro, you know, you can have it as one or as both. So, yeah. I'm sorry that I've kind of rambled on a little bit, I think. Um, and obviously you can tell I'm in my pyjamas, but... I don't care <laughs> uh, but yeah um, I hope this video was a little bit educational I guess um, but I'm hoping that you know after watching this video you've kind of started thinking a bit more about it and that if you do want to get it done again I'm not a professional I'm just someone who likes to have some piercings and tattoos and stuff so again do your research before you get a piercing I will do another video on cons later on uh, just so therefore you get the good and the bad sides so that you, when you watch these videos you can then actually decide if you do want to get it done or not. Again, clear your choice, just make sure you do your research beforehand and I'm sorry this video might be a little bit shorter than others and that I ramble on. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video and I hope you enjoyed. I will put just a small little list in the description of the points I've just pointed out today. Um, just in case you want to look over it for yourself and I will put it in the comments as well if you want to check that out uh, but on all of my videos make sure you look in the description below I tend to put a little bit more information in there sometimes uh, so yeah that'll be it for this video thank you for watching and I'll see you next one